Oh, there you go. Are you good? Good, good. End of the week, what have you got for us? End of the week, we've got a classic for the weekend, tagine. So, as you said before, it's a one-pot wonder. And right. we've got all these beautiful spices in mm. here. We're using lamb today, and we've got lots of fruit as well. So lots of spices and lots of fruit, sort of sweet and spicy lamb. And Fantastic. we're going to be cooking it in this, eh? Yep. Yeah, yep. nice. Yep. That's a tagine. <laughs> it's a tagine. <laughs> uh, these are very reasonably priced, actually, and you should always, if you're walking past a shop and see one on special, grab it, because you can make some delicious recipes. Today, a one pot wonder saves the washing up. It's lamb tagine <laughs> for our Friday morning, so you can make this tonight if you want, or any time over the weekend. Let's get going. Yeah, so it's really, really easy, packed full of flavour. As no excuse not to do it, you just need time for it to cook. It's going to cook for about two to three hours, depending on like how big your lamb is. Okay, good. Okay, but that's what you want slow cooking yeah. and uh, just develop those flavours. Right, so we've got some lamb. Nice. So into a bowl. Lovely. And then we've got lots of spices in here. Yeah, there's a good arrangement of spices there. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to quiz you on these again. All right, salt and pepper. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Might be here all day. All right, so you got some ground coriander. Yes. Some cinnamon. Yes. What's this one? Curry. Oh, turmeric. Turmeric. Close enough, yeah. <laughs> um, you got some cardamom as well. Yeah. And some pepper? cumin. Oh, cumin. <laughs> and some pepper. cayenne pepper as well, so a little bit of spice in there. Paprika? Yeah, mm. there you go. So, you know, lots of spices. And what you want to do as well with this, if you have got the time, marinate this meat 24 hours in advance, you know? Give it a good uh, mix around, pop it in the fridge for 24 hours, and you'll okay. really get all those flavors like penetrating through the whole meat. You know, if you can't, you know, don't worry about it. Even, you know, give it an hour or two, you'll still get those flavors going in. Okay, great. Right, so nice. we've actually got some- Here's some we are prepared earlier. earlier. And you can sort of see, you can see all the spices, you know, going into that. Oh, it smells good. All right, so I'll just mix all that together. Right, so that's your meat. Well, yeah, that's good. Now we're talking. Yeah, so that's easy. Right, so we're just going to go, we've got some onions and garlic. And okay. all we're going to do now is we've got the tagine pot here. Yeah. So it's just warm. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to sort of slowly saute those off. Okay, great. Okay, and then, you know, just get a little bit of colour on there. You don't want to, you don't want to cook it too long. Yep. Um, but we're just starting to get the cooking process going and uh, we're going to leave it quite chunky as well. Okay, good. So, just going to quarter it in. You can pop some oil in there if you want, Mike. Okay, sweet. Sorry, Chef. A little bit of oil. And some garlic as well. So I'm just going to slice it into nice slices. You know, not worrying too much about it. So, onions go in. Yep. Garlic goes in and you can just stir that. Just a couple of minutes, just sort of break it down and starting to get that sort of, you know, cooking process on the go. Bay leaves as well, we're gonna pop in now. You can put them in now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Start the flavor, get all the flavor in there. And then basically, so it's all gonna cook together. We've got this beautiful lid on there. We're gonna pop it in the oven, about 160 degrees for about sort of between two and three hours, depending on your meat. But your meat wants to just, you know, be really soft and sort of just falling apart, you know? All those flavors sort of getting into everything. Nice. Don't burn the bay leaves. Don't burn the bay leaves. Oh, close. <laughs> close. Okay, cool. And then, do, you, and then do, you need, do you need me to break this onion down or is well, it just yeah, a little you can break be. As it, I mean, as it, as it cooks, it'll sort of soften and it'll oh, go down. You know, you don't, it'll break you don't need to worry too much about Sweet. that. Okay, good. Right. Do one. Right, and that's pretty much it. Once we've got a bit of colour, wow. we can start adding the rest of the ingredients. So we've got lots of fruit in here as well. So we've got apricots in there, sultanas in there. We've got some tomatoes as well, which is going to give us this rich sauce. And of course, a bit of lamb stock is in and there as well. And let's just say somebody didn't like apricots, you don't have to put them in, do you? No, no. No, I mean, that, this is the beauty of these recipes, you know. You, you put your favourite ingredients in there. Um, or if you don't like a certain recipe or a certain spice, you know, take it out and substitute it for something else. Nice work. Okay. I guess the secret is in with all those spices that you've marinated the lamb in. Yeah, so, you can smell that now. Yeah, it's beautiful. It, it's smelling incredible. And the good thing is with one pot means less dishes for everyone to do. We'll finish this off straight after we catch up with Holly. But we've got the next part of this lamb tagine to finish off here, Mark. So everything's softening up here. Yep. And meat's marinated. Right, meat's all marinated. So I'm going to pop the meat in now. Yep. So just get that in, sort of spread that around. Cool. You know, it's all going to cook together in the pot with all those flavours. So, you, you know, we're not sealing the meat off now. We're just sort of mixing it up. Right, some apricots, as we said before. So just dried apricots. Just chop them roughly. You know, Moroccan food's very, very sort of sweet and spicy. Right. You know, but sweet spices as well, like cinnamon and, and, and you know, cardamom and stuff like that. 
Well, right. it's interesting putting raisins in this as well, you know? Sultanas, yeah. yeah. Sultanas, yeah. yeah I What's mean, the difference just... between a raisin and a sultana, by the way? You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never thought of it. All right, so we're going to get those in there as well. You know, you can use one fruit, you can swap fruits. You know, you don't have to put the fruit in if you don't like it too um, sweet. Right. Um, and then we've got some lamb stock as well. Lamb stock. Yeah, Great. so lamb stock on there. Uh, you can't get lamb stock, you know, chicken stock's fine. You know, even some water if you want, because you've got so many um, flavours with all the spices, you know, you're still going to get like a massive like flavour hit and profile. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. We're going to bring that up to the boil. And then we're going to pop the lid on it, pop it in an oven, 160 mm -hmm. degrees, between two and three hours. And then, so you can pop your lid on there. <gasps> and look at that. Here's one we made a bit earlier. So give that a nice stir around. Ooh. You can see all those juices are sort of reduced down. You know, you can mix it all up, break it oh. up. And it's just, um, you know, it's just packed full of flavour. You know, you've got texture in there. You've got all those spices coming through. That. And you've got that balance of sort of, um, you know, a little bit of heat and the sweetness as well. And then, you know, so all you need to do is serve with that, you know, you can serve it with some crusty bread, yes. um, a little bit of rice, just some plain rice, or I've got some Israeli couscous, couscous here. Yeah. And I'm just going to pop it in some, um, you know, boiling water, just give it a few minutes to rehydrate and puff up, and uh, just keep it nice and simple, you know? I it's, love it. It's just, it's just really easy, but, you, you know, all your cooking and flavours are just cooking together in that tagine. Right, well, while we've been getting our couscous ready, I've been trying to find out the difference between raisins and sultanas oh. for everybody. <laughs> so raisins, they, they are dried naturally. Mm -hmm. Sultanas, they are dipped in vegetable oil and acid, and then they're dried. So there you go. Oh, really? That's right, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Control Room. You are so good. <laughs> In fact, you can have all of this, Control Room, OK? Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm really enjoying Israeli couscous at the moment. Well, it's great, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. just something different. I mean, yeah. you know, you've got more texture in there, it's larger. Um, or just use the plain couscous, you know? It's really fast to cook as well, you know, just last minute. Just even a bit of water, a bit of stock, you can put more spices in there, or even more fruit fruit if you, you know, if you want, you know? It's Brilliant. Just, Depends right. how sweet you want it. Right, well, I can't wait to try some of this. Which yeah, look at that, all these flavours. Just got the couscous on there, nice and textured. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah. Looking forward to this one. Beautiful. Perfect for a rainy Sunday. Ooh. Thank you. There you go, this lunch yeah. Delicious.